Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent. Bringing you episode 26 of Let's Play The Accursed Crown of the Giant King. Chapter 2, The Duchy of Despair. <laughs> I like that. Hey, guys. Hope you're doing well. Um... We're just exiting the ruins of Ozog to do something different today. Um, let's see, did we complete Trollstone? Yeah, I think we did. Um, so we're down here. Why not head to the cave of Blade Taker Ravine? And check out our journal. Yamab, Blade Taker and the Stolen Goods. Lookout Manadin. To, told you that the ogre, Yamaw Blade Taker, has been raiding local towns. You should travel to the cave of Blade Taker, slay the ogre, and locate the stolen goods. Hey, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Heard there was a mighty group. Okay, success. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. Here we go. This way. Oh, we've got a apprentice. Oh, dropped a lesser fire elemental right in its spot here. There we are. Single goblin skulk. Oh no, they're coming. Okay, time to cast some magic. Um, how about a burst of flame on the middle one? And how about you throw a daze on the middle one? You go fight, you go fight, and you go fight. Nice. Five hundred two XP. Blade Taker Ravine. Did we did that uh burst of flame do damage? Cast Days. Days has no effect on Crone Cultists. Burst of Flame did hit. <laughs> 4 damage, 9 damage, 49 damage. Interesting. Alright, we are off. Cave of Blade Taker, level 1. Set up through this way. Ooh, tough guys. Are they commandos? Yeah. Go. Let's go ahead and heal. That's pretty good. Oh boy. Shadow. Alright, let me go ahead and cast Scorching Ray. Um, it's a shadow for 57 damage. 
Good enough. Oh, Earth Elemental. <laughs> Did not get a shot in on us. <clears throat> oh, there's an exit. Should be all the enemies. Yep. Let's go ahead and head to the exit. And head to uh, wherever this is. Cave Blade Taker level 2, 435 XP. Alrighty, Orc Fighters. Dang, he, that Orc Fighter hit for 78 damage to Albero. Starting to find some of the supplies. Orc Pit Fighter, we should just be able to slay. Let's hit it with a burst of flame though. That hit for 45 damage. Now just go ahead and focus on him. Nice, we're starting to see supplies. you know, that they're keeping. Huh. To an empty room. Empty storage area, I guess. Alright, let's do it again. Oh, they're gonna talk to us. Success. Ah. Where are you, ogre? Oh dear. Just hit with a magic missile. There's the ogre. And orc fighter. Alright, so. You go close in on him. You go ahead and scorching ray the ogre. And you go ahead and. Inflict serious on the ogre. Okay, Beldagon thirty seven inflict. Um, Scorching Ray hit for eighty five. He's already near death. All right. Um, 
build gun. Go ahead and inflict serious again. And go ahead and recast Scorching Ray. Dead. Hit for 117. Build the gun hit for 60. Who's this orc down here that casts something? Scorching Ray, but it missed. Altha. There we are. Alpha took some damage, but it was all good in the end. Got a nice looking chest, the village goods. You located the stolen goods, return to Lookout Manadin in Annan City, High City, and let him know where the goods can be found. 659 XP each. And a little chest. With a short bow plus five. A robes. A helmet of seeing. Observation plus 25. Nice. That's very cool. Days and 1,396 coins. That's some nifty stuff. So, you currently have the crown of personality. Gonna go ahead and give the crown of personality to Bell the gun. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on the helmet of seeing to add to my observation. Very cool. And the short bow plus five is really not usable by anybody. <laughs> Check out my crown. Check out Bell the gun and his crown. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, let's continue. We won't miss a secret door now, that's for sure. Or pit fighter. find. Oh, there's the exit already. So all enemies have been defeated. Yep. Alright, let's return to the high city. Manadin was right there. Yep. You located the goods. Well done. We'll get right out and recover them. Here's a reward for your aid. 582 gold. Ha! That Yamaha blade taker was no match for you. That's right. Um. Alright. Should probably rest somewhere. Um, let's go to South City. South Said. Come here. Awesome. Next, we will head to Dungeon of Ulag Ravine, Slow Mill Stronghold Hill, Dungeon of Windy Dew, Cellar of Darkstone, Dungeon of Mal Malifson. Huh. Cat Kilm of Torch here, town of Flonford. Alright, let's hit this East Wood. Um, you know what? We might.
might as well start with this place. I need water though, my mouth is very dry. Tower of Gomulf. An exit to Eastwood. Crossfire. Crossfire. Look out. Clear Elm. Elf female fighter. I need your help, Matthew. My chief guard truck was investigating reports of activity in the caves of Ogwain and hasn't returned. Can you find out what happened to him? Here, I've marked location on your map. Caves of Ogwain. Oh, I didn't even see them. Oops. <gasps> yeah, we can go to the caves of Ogwain. Stout and ruins, wow. There's a lot going on on this map. Very cool. Let's just focus on clearing it right now. Thirty-three XP. Let's head to the Tower of Gomulf. Let's see what we can find here. Mm, he's got interesting banners. Wow, a speedy cave troll. Gamelson, dwarf male fighter. What? How dare you come into my tower? You deserve to die for this transgression. Hold on, I come in peace. Success diplomacy. Ah, oh, you're right. Peace, you say. Listen to me, I have a strange tale. I was once an adventurer like yourself, but now I found myself cursed by the undead sorcerer Togager. Filled with visions of rage and paranoia. I've had to remove myself from civilization to this far corner of the world to keep myself from slaying innocents. Slay the sorcerer and free me from this curse, I beg you. Tagager can be found below ruins just to the east. To enter his tomb, you'll need a key found in the summit of this tower. Be careful, I regret in my demented state I have not kept this tower clear of wandering creatures. Huh, interesting. Very cool. That's something different. So, per usual, we're doing some unique, interesting content. Huh. 
Got Barrow taking some damage. Level three. We've got Ogre Fighter. And an Ogre Pitch Fighter. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and first to flame them. Let's go ahead and throw a Scorching Ray on the Ogre Pit Fighter. Dang, our barrel's almost dead. Let me go ahead and cure Moderate. Nice. Beautiful. And since I gave that order, it filled out my first order, then did the second order. 479 XP. So that's very cool. Um, there we go. Let's check out the chest. We've got a short sword plus five. Don't know why anyone would use a short sword. Tag a jerky. 412 gold. Now we can go rest in the bed. And then head to the ruins. Let's go after Tagager. It's not safe to rest here with the cursed Rogaban Gamolfsen around. Oh, jeez. Right. What am I thinking? Um. Let's head out, but let's do some healing. Um. Man, we're going to be spending a lot of magic on healing here. There we go, that was a nice heal of 101. I'm gonna go ahead and light a smoke, guys. If you don't mind. And, uh, let's head to the ruins now. Try our hand over here. Like how they straight up tell you it's not safe with him around. <laughs> he might try to kill you in your sleep. Alright. Stout in ruins. What a map to an explore. Goblin Commandos. Get a little head start on the second commando, I figure. Disarm that. Oh, it's a big map. Kind of. There's a. F Shadow. Cast 
true strike. Wow, Albero got hit for 152 with a scorching ray. Skeletons. Ah, <gasps> oh, two shadows. All right, time for a little magic. Um, how about a Sound burst, I guess. And a scorching ray. That one. Not bad. 483 XP. Racking up the XP. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a, a ruin to go into other than this hole over here. Am I right? Yeah. This is where we're headed. Down in. Takajur Tomb. Wow, this is different already. Use the Tomb Key. Wow, ghouls and skeletons. All right. Alpha, Albero. I guess fight that one. Matthew, how about a scorching ray on that ghoul? You, how about a burst of flame on the middle ghoul? Okay, now let's do like magic missile on you, you fight that one, you fight that one. Um, you fight that one, you fight that one, you fight that one. Oh, he's paralyzed. Oh, dear. Is anybody fighting? Fight that one. Uh, you go ahead and cast a magic missile on that one. He's stunned again. Shoot. You fire a magic missile on that one. There we go. Oh, there's one right in front of us, too. We're getting rocked. Jeepers. And there's still one left. Skelly. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna have to do for now. <laughs> uh, 
any secret doors here? Wow, second level. this level out though. some ghouls in those that room. Man, this level is huge. Take care of these ghouls. No decrepit skeletons. That one wanted no part of the fighting at first. This looks like the last room that we ever get to explore. Right here. So we should get our beep. Skeletons. No beep. Maybe we get it upon proceeding down to the next level. There it is, 636 XP. Gotta do some healing. On Atha. And a little healing on Albero. Wow. Guys, but 
Hopefully this is interesting for you as it is for me. I'm digging this. I'm into it. And a secret wall. The same room. I feel like this is the big bad room here. Order guard and apprentice. You back up. You go ahead and fire a magic missile on you. You take the guard. You take the guard too. She cast magic circle. Go ahead and hit her with a Scorching Ray. She casts a Scorching Ray, but mine hit her for 39. Um, how about a Magic Missile on you? And you just continue to pummel. Killed her. Nice. There we go. It's not the big bad room. secret wall right here. Oh, we've got an apprentice. <gasps> Nothing in here, huh? It's not a very interconnected tomb. There's long corridors leading to endings of rooms. But if we come here, this is empty, right? Or is there a way out? Uh -oh. A ghoul fade. Level 5. Sneak attack, improved flank, stealth. Oh, you can get sneak attack with stealth. An improved flank. Oh, why am I not using stealth with... With, uh, Matthew. I didn't know you could get stuff like that. Sneak attack. I didn't see it. It only opens up when you... When you get it. When you get the prerequisite, I mean, then the skill opens up, and you can see it. Unbelievable. Oh. White tiger, decrepit skeletons. Alright. Let's see. Fight there. You... Go fight him. You fight here. You drink a restore energy. Oh, wow. Summoned a skeleton right behind. All right, you attack here. Wait, are you... 
You're still okay, right? Yeah, okay. Attack there. You drank an energy, so you go ahead and um, inflict serious on this guy. I'll go ahead and shoot that guy. I don't know what he just cast. White cast poison. Oh. Alright, you attack here. Albero has not made any headway. The skeleton's almost dead. Um, can you cast Scorching Ray, please? On him. Hits for 180. That takes him to near death. You come fight the skeleton. 1,092 XP. Kill the skeleton before I die. Let me get out of here. Whew. Wicked pool. We've got a dagger. <laughs> a buckle plus five. A limited wish power. Explosion. Bestow curse. Cure poison. I don't know why I'm giving them to me. 1800 gold. They should be going to. Yeah, they all gotta go to him. He's gotta use the ones he can. Maybe we can find a stash for the rest that he can't. Or the inventory will keep going down, probably. Uh, got some plus fives to sell. That's a good battle. Some of that skeleton right in our back lines to chunk it up a bit. To muck it up. And it did. Look at my health. I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Alright, let's just return. I think we've explored the whole map now. Tagager is dead. To the tomb. Or to the tower. Joy is say, Matthew, you freed me from the foul curse. Here, take my axe as a reward. I wish to never swing it again as I live. Now I can return to civilization. Perhaps Annan City, or mayhaps I'll go further south. Thank you. 100 XP, and a first time ever getting an item for a reward. Let's take a peek at that axe. A battle axe plus five. I might go ahead and have her use that. Does she have axe? Ability. Okay, plus 60, 1 to 35, plus 20. Plus 65, 1 to 40, plus 25. So that probably, unfortunately... to 55 versus 65 with the attack bonus 5. Yeah, she's more into bludgeon, so... Battle Axe plus 5. Well, he can dual wield. So if I could give him, like, a Battle Axe plus 5, and then say... 
Let's just for examination here, give him a dagger. Drag to wield. Yeah, drag to wield. So he'd be 1 to 35 plus 22. Attack bonus plus 22. Why is that? That's not adding any damage. Hmm. That's the only thing we can try right now until we have another weapon. But uh, I would want to dual wield with him. And invest in stealth in my main character, my goodness. Alright. Very cool. So I'm going to save here. And we've been playing for 46 minutes. So thank you for joining me. If you made it this far, hoorah. <laughs> uh, appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're enjoying the LP. Feel free to tag along for more. Would love to have you on this journey continually. Uh, much love, peace, and joy, guys. Catch you next time where we'll do more content of the high-quality handcrafted variety. See you guys then. Bye-bye. Much love, peace, and joy. Eh.